Following the European Union's latest move to renew its sanctions on a number of Iranian firms, Tehran has called on the bloc to toe the line of confidence building and mutual understanding. Iran's foreign ministry has also rejected any unilateral sanctions by the EU and urged it to move in line with the recent nuclear deal between Tehran and the P5 plus one group of countries. Here's more. Iran's foreign ministry spokeswoman, Marzia Afkham, takes the podium to remind the European Union of the importance of confidence-building measures now that Tehran and the P5 plus one group of nations have hammered out a deal over the Iranian nuclear energy program. Afkham has made the comments after the EU's latest move a few days ago to renew its sanctions against 17 Iranian companies, mostly shipping lines. Afkham said, Renewing sanctions against Iranian companies by the European Union is unilateral, politically motivated, and without the essential legal basis. The move is surprising given the recent nuclear deal between Iran and the P5 plus one. Tehran urges EU to act in line with the Geneva deal and move toward mutual respect. The EU's extension of anti-Iran sanctions comes despite the November 24th Geneva Accord meant to resolve the West's decade-old dispute with Tehran over its nuclear program. The deal was struck despite an aggressive Israeli lobby to nip it in the bud. Pro-Israeli lobbies in the U.S. Congress also pushed the U.S. government to prevent it, but to no avail. Observers now say the EU's move is not in the right spirit based on the agreement made in Geneva. Uh, during the negotiations, we had uh, President Hollande of uh, France trying to uh, doing the work of the Israel lobby, trying to subvert the agreement. It didn't work. Uh, pre uh, Senator Schumer now, after the agreement, as well as Lindsey Graham, have announced that as soon as they get back to Washington, they're going to do the, everything in their power to make sure that the agreement doesn't go into effect. So if this is the case, then I don't see why some bureaucrat at the EU wouldn't be also susceptible to the same kind of pressure. The European court, I think, is on the side of the Iranian companies. They passed, they lifted the sanctions on two banks. I think they would lift the sanctions. And the European bureaucrats who passed this, I think, are admitting that they would lose their appeal. And so they're going to change the whole format so that they don't have to appeal it. Iran has repeatedly said its interactions with the permanent members of the UN Security Council plus Germany should be based on mutual respect and understanding and without any forms of intimidation. Tehran has time and again stressed that any measure that breaches these lines could damage future cooperation, especially at a time when the two sides gear up to implement the terms of the Geneva nuclear deal.